If you've used the variant feature, sometimes it can be confusing when you end up trying to create different variants such as different sizes, different states, a leading icon, a trailing icon, using the boolean values. And in today's video, you will learn how to create a button component with variants and auto layout. And I'm Roy, a UI designer based in the UK. Previously, we did our button base defaults. We have one for default. We have a large and a small. Go here, we can hold down the Alt key and just drag and that copies an instance. And what we have to do there is convert this into an auto layout. So Shift A, we want to remove all the spacing. And what we need to then do is actually get the naming convention. So here we use this naming convention, copy, go back to this frame seven, and we just want to paste that in. Now, the only addition we need to add is a button because this is what the component will be called and forward slash primary. We are going to hide the leading and trailing icon. So we enter, enter and enter. That will take you into the layers. I'm just going to hide these and this is to adhere to our naming convention of false false at the end. Duplicate this five times. So let's count together. Two, three, four, five and select all shift a and let's make this vertical and we're going to give a spacing of 20 hit enter let's zoom in let's zoom right in and here we have the very first one which is default the next date we are going to say we are going to say that this is going to be focus so i'm typing these in because we want to change the state names and this one will be hover and then we have active and then the very last one is disabled okay so let's quickly make some adjustments so focus is actually if we go to the whole frame and if i go to default I just want to hit enter to go into our base button. I actually want to get rid of the focus ring because we don't need that. And for focus, we will. For hover, we won't. So go hit enter, enter. Oh, go back here. I just minus that. And this one is active. So you will have the focus ring and then disabled. So now if I get rid of the stroke when we are focused and then here we are on hover. So we're just going to make this slightly darker. So I'm going to go to selection colors and I'll just choose the slightly darker one. Let's say 700 here. This is when it's active. So again, we just want to go in. And let's go into the base and just change this into 700. And then the last one is disabled. So we want to make this a bit different. We actually want this to be gray. So let's say gray 300. And then the text, we can then make that, we have to do the contrast. So let's say gray 500 or maybe 600. So what we have here is no icon. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to do the set for leading and trailing. So the way we're going to do that quite quickly is we're going to go here. We're going to duplicate twice so one two we're going to select all shift a to auto layout we're going to make it stack or go vertical and here we're just going to choose this and say leading icon and here we're going to say trailing icon okay so if we go to the leading icon all i'm going to do i'm going to hit enter 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 and enter again and i just want to unhide all the leading icons okay so you can see we need to change that one and then if I go back here I'm going to enter enter and enter again and again and I want to show the trailing icons so these will be all the last ones here trailing trailing and trailing so we just need to adjust the white. So the white needs to be gray 600. Okay, and then the last one here, 
we go to selection colors and choose gray 600. Okay, great. So we have leading and we have trailing. And now the next thing to do, we have to also make sure we rename the layers. So for example, here we need to get false and true for the leading. So here, if I go to leading icon, I hit enter and then do command R. And I want to find everything that has false slash false and we want it to be true and then we want it to be false rename and the same thing for this set we enter command r we want to look for false slash false and we want to rename it to false slash true hit rename now what we can do is go to this frame and we actually want to rename this to let's say default we're going to have different sizes. So we just command D, command D and select all, shift A. Let's give this a bigger spacing of 80. And now we can just call that button. And this one, we're going to rename that one to large. This one, we're going to rename it to small. OK, now this is where the magic happens. So. If I go to the large column, I hit enter, enter, and enter again. So now you're on the base default uh, component. I go to the swapper here. I want to change that to large. You can see it straight away swapped it into the large version, which is pretty sweet. If you're finding value in this video, please hit the like button. Now this one here, we do the same. We enter, enter, enter again. And I want to find the small uh, base default that we created which is right here so now we've quite quickly created three different sizes which i think is pretty nice now the last thing we need to do is change the sizes so enter enter and the only thing we have to be wary of is there's actually two duplicates of default default this is for one of these states so command r i want to change all the defaults too large now i'm doing this in a different way so you can see here we named the sizes to large but this one here we actually want that to be default and then large command r so if i find a large slash default i actually want that to be the other round so default and then large rename okay so we have to do the same for this so enter enter command r we want to find all the default and rename it to small but then we actually want to command R again because we want the small slash default to swap to default slash small and then rename the next step is then to create the component so I'm just gonna command D I'm then gonna hit enter enter and enter now you get to this uh, layer which is the naming convention and then you go to here and you create component set. So then what you have to do is do option L to collapse the layers and then just select these three empty auto layout frames, delete, and we have a fresh button set. So let's see if this has actually done it properly. So if I go into the button, you can see all the different ones. We can rename this to type. We can then rename this to state and then size and then leading icon and then trailing icon okay so let's test this out so shift i button there's our new button hit enter and oop, let me just take that out of there let's zoom right in and let's test this out so we only have one type at the moment but here we can look at active disabled oop, focus hover and large is in there Ooh, so we've done something wrong there so here we got large and we got small and then we got a leading and we got a trailing there was one thing that went amiss which is you could see here this is a nice thing about when you have an error how do you then dissect it so here we can see on the states there's actually a large in there so something went wrong in there so if you delete that and delete this you still have your your uh, fresh set here 
before you've done a component. So let's just double check. Command R, enter, sorry. So here we can see the different states. Okay, they're all looking fine. So you can see here that this one, so some of them wasn't renamed properly. So let's try that again. So Command R, so I'm looking for large slash default. I wanna swap that to default slash large and then rename. Okay, so let's have a go. Command D and hit enter, enter, enter. We want to then create a component set. We want to collapse the layers and delete these three empty ones. Okay, so now we can hit enter to go to that layer. Here we can say type. Here we can say state, size, leading icon, and then trailing icon. Okay, so hopefully this is done correctly. Shift I button, and let's just bring it over here. Let's zoom in, and hopefully now all the correct ones are there. So there's only one type. We have the five different states, and we have the different sizes. Okay, so that is pretty cool. So it seems to be working. I'm just going to go to this one here, and this is an example. So Command D, and we have our primary. And then what we want to do is we're just going to go into this. So hit enter. Okay. So I'm actually going to rename button to primary. And I'm going to duplicate this. So I'm going to duplicate two, three, four. And I'm going to just see if I can select all. Shift A. This is where it gets a bit crazy. I'm going to then go vertical. Can see that and i'm going to give it a bigger gap of 80. okay so let's just get this out and now you can see we've got four sets now okay so let's see this one here we want to change this to secondary this one let's just say black and then white so now when we go to the secondary we hit enter 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 command r we just change primary to sec oop, primary to secondary and then rename and same thing here we hit enter 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 command r primary to black rename this one here enter 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 command r primary and then white rename okay so all our naming should be done nicely now we just have to create the colors and this is the nice thing so if i select the secondary you can use the selection colors to just make quick changes so primary i'm going to go to secondary 500 and then we're going to just do the darker version 700 for the hover states and we're just going to leave the disabled the same so you can see here it is pretty pretty quick this one here we're gonna let's have a look so for the black version we are going to make this let's just say around 800 or well, this could be gray and then when you hover we're going to then go to 900 and actually no here this is going to be around 900 okay yep and then this one here we want that to be the white version so we have to actually change this to let's say gray 7 that's for the text and then we need to go to white and then when you hover it's going to be a slightly different gray so gray 100 to prove this we're going to hit enter 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 we're selecting all the buttons command r we're just going to give the button a different name so let's just say button 2 rename and then we are going to create a component set but before we do the magic let's just create a duplicate and we hit enter 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 we create a component set option l we delete those four and if i go here you can see we've got all the different types we just added a three new types state and then size 
and then leading icon and then trailing icon so if I search for that so this is button 2 Ooh. So if I search for that this is button 2 let's zoom in let me just drag that out zoom in again and here we now have our new fresh types secondary white uh, we can change the states so let's say focus state we got the large version the small version a leading icon a trailing icon great the reason why we did a base component is if i was to go into it so if i was to hit enter go to the small one go to main component now we can actually adjust the small version and it will only affect the small sizes so i think that is pretty cool so if i was to go inside here and hit enter again let's say we made this really small let's say four four eight and eight and you can see that it's straight away adjusted everything we've created because these are all based on the small um, base button and the nice thing as well there's one other thing which we can do which is actually change the icons to a smaller icon so that's one thing to think about um, so yeah that is pretty cool so command z command z command z command z and you can see it just adjusts everything so i think that is pretty nice and the other one here, if we just try and enlarge, and we actually wanted to make these into peels. So what you can do then is we could say, hey, we want this to be 99.9. You can see that it's gone completely round. If I hit enter, I got 9.99. Okay, so now you can see here that all of the large ones have that peel version, the peel look. You can see even on here, all of these are the same and now that is just so so much more efficient to work okay so come on z z z z z and there we go so hopefully you found this video useful please leave a like leave a comment how do you think this video went and i'll see you in the next video